on tonight's podcast. We have PETA annoying people yet again like they always do. Moving on to Pennsylvania, the worst state in the United States by far. And perverts. Learn what these three nasty fucking some bitches have did. And poor food, because nothing sucks worse than eating when you got no money. It's the Larry Harris Podcast. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Larry Harris. This is the Larry Harris Podcast. Coming at you on a wonderful summer. I don't know when it comes out, so whatever the date is. But it's a nice day out, and I have a doozy of a podcast for you. As you heard from the intro, we're on the peas today. And then do it on purpose. It kind of just worked out that way, you know. But uh, I'd just like to say that uh, this great country we live in, even though it has had some rough patches over the years, has produced many, many great men. Among one of them, my own personal idol, Hunter S. Thompson. Now, one of Hunter S. Thompson's quotes was like, good people drink good beer. And the type of beer that Mr. Hunter S. Thompson was known for drinking was Heineken. This week, the unofficial sponsor of Larry Harris Podcast is Heineken Beer. There's only three ingredients. This, water, barley, hops. That's it. Turn that fucking Dr. Pepper bottle around. Look at the fucking shits in that. You put that shit in your gullet every day? Come on, please. You want to be a good person? I know you do, because you're a fucking shitty person, and you know it because of it. you know that shit you did back in 87, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know that shit again that you did in 2002? Yeah, but this is a chance to redeem yourself. Be a good person. Drink Heineken beer, the unofficial sponsor of the Larry Harris Podcast. And believe me, you're going to get a sip of it tonight because we got some fucking good ones coming in here. We're starting the night off right here locally with a fucking, uh, in Baltimore with fucking PETA. Apparently, they haven't done enough to annoy people they're around here with one of them changed the name of Slaughter Beach. So they decide now they're going to go to Baltimore and Maryland and attack one of the, our sacred traditions, the Blue Crab. As you can see from the intro, they put up a billboard that says, I'm not me. Really? A crab? The only thing in the ocean is dumber than a fucking fish? A fucking crab? I mean, if you ever have a fish aquarium, you know, you can tap on the water and they'll know when to fucking come up and when it's food time and shit. Crabs can't be trained to do anything. They don't know nothing. They don't have a personality. It's what a crab does. And then they pinch the shit out of you. That's about it. Can't train them to fetch. You can't train them to go out and fucking get you the paper or sit or any of that shit. I can understand the fucking cow thing, you know. Look at a cow. It's all right. It's cute. You probably treat you to do tricks and shit like that. But really, PETA, a fucking blue crab, it's a sea bug. They don't have personalities. Fucking things don't even have brains. They run on fucking pure instinct and adrenaline. They eat dead shit and fucking pinch people. That's all they fucking do. Move on. You run out of shit to bitch about, which means that the fucking world's probably a good place and you really should just fucking retire. I have seen one crab that was fucking carrying a knife, though, if anybody wants to bring that up. But that wasn't a blue crab. That was one of them dirty fucking Puerto Rican crabs. And you know how the fucking Puerto Ricans are. They'll cut a motherfucker. Just saying. That wasn't a blue crab, so. If you're trying to say chaos or personalities, you can't count that one. That was a special one. All right, moving on to fucking something my favorite place in the world that I love so Oh, God, I almost threw my own mouth just trying to say, I fucking hate this place. It's the great state of fucking Pennsylvania. I was trying to save this for a later podcast, because I can do a whole podcast with some of my hatred of this fucking shithole patch of fucking earth that just has me stuck in the United States. We go to Munson, Pennsylvania for this one. Three men arrested on 1,460 counts of animal molestation and unnatural sex acts involving an animal. Yes. Apparently there were cows. Goats. What else we got? Horses, sheep, and dogs. Right? I got them all? I don't know. They fucked a lot of fucking animals, dude. Don't, 
get mad at me because I can't keep track of this shit. It's fucking anything that had to walk across that property got a dick through in it. I mean, goddamn, the groundhog barely got his fucking hole in there and trying to fuck that fucking thing in the ass. The police said in the barn they had a V-shaped pin. In which they would put the animals in to perform sexual acts amongst them. And they videotaped it, which is why they have 1,460 fucking charges. Because that's how many Chicago's gets found. Not counting, God knows how many times they fucking did it. Poor animals pushing that fucking little pin. All these three fucking mongoloids have their way with them. And the poor animals, they don't have thumbs. They can't use a smart phone. They can't get on Twitter and be like, say what's happened. Hashtag Moo Too. Nah. They just got to take it. It's fucking disgusting. Speaking of animal abusers in Pennsylvania, we'll move on to the Amish. They are undoubtedly the most abusive people to animals. Let's say, why don't a lot of PETA is down in fucking Baltimore worry about people eating stupid fucking crap? Dude, get some balls to go to Pennsylvania and take care of that fucking problem. They'll take those horses out in 100 degree weather, whip the shit out of them. They're doing like 140 miles an hour down the road and they just fucking die right there. And they try to say that's their religion. But you look over into their field and you'll see a brand new John Deere tractor. Huge one. Green, fucking shining paint. Got the little GPS orb on the fucking top of it and shit. But the motherfucking thing has metal wheels on it. Like from the old pictures you see from the turn of the century, the old tractors, you know, the metal wheels. You've seen them. If you haven't seen them, somebody put in their yard, put fucking flowers around them. But yeah, you know what I'm fucking talking They put these on a brand new fucking tractor and run it. And I'm sitting there like, I'm like, what the fuck? You won't drive a car, but you have that. I'm like, what, is God against rubber? They have problem. I mean, I've explained this to Catholics. They never fucking use them. So uh, maybe they are. I said, maybe I fucking should give them this one. I don't know, man. That whole fucking state's just fucked on so many levels. And just the fucking shit they do to animals is appalling. And they really should just fucking wipe that state off face of the earth. Just dig it up and make it all water. Nobody will miss it. Animals have a lot better welfare for that. All right, moving on to fucking people that abuse animals. We're going to the uh, Chinese. As you know, now you go to a Chinese restaurant, the joke is you never see strays around. But it's true. You will never, ever see a stray animal outside a Chinese restaurant. As a matter of fact, there was some lady on the internet that showed pictures of her catching a fucking bird and putting them in a bag. It turned out she was serving them in a Chinese restaurant. That's why they dyed that fucking pork fried rice meat. Red, because it's a mystery meat. It's rat, cat, dog, songbird, whatever. They don't care. They don't care about anything. And what's funny is, it's all we talk about is illegal aliens and shit in this country. Nobody talks about the Chinese illegal aliens. They throw them motherfuckers in a shipping container in China. They put them in there. They throw six fish in a container, a hot plate, a bag of rice, a bucket of water... Ship them over here and start them out as save labor. They start them out, they put them in the massage parlors. Right? Working. Yes. Working. All right, so if they do a good enough job there, you know, they can work their way up to the next step. You know, if they maybe they're sitting in the back of the uh, jerk-off shop one day eating their fucking fish off the hot plate and they draw, like, a really nice picture and they're like, oh, you're artistic. You can move up to the uh, nail salon next. You know, so that's a step up for her. She ain't got to sit there and fucking uh, give hand jobs to old white men with little peckers no more. So she moves up to the nail salon, you know, and they're in there 12 hours a day painting the nails. I don't know if you've ever gone in there with your chick or not, but you go in there just that the fucking fumes hit you in the face like a fucking punch, dude. I mean, they have no ventilation in this place at all. People in there working 12, 14 hours, sleeping in the back on top of fucking uh, fingernail polish boxes. And it's just hard. So say they work really hard. Then they get to move up to the top tier. The Chinese, right? The hibachi, right? You know, you see those girls in there, the wait staff as you go to get your buffet. So you're sitting in there and you fuck me conversation with them. They'll never talk to you. But if you get one to start talking to you and have a conversation, when you look over, you'll see like an old Chinese lady in the corner. And she'll be looking at that girl hard. And then next time you come in there, she's gone. Never see her again. You can go in there every day for years. You'll never see her. Because the old lady thinks she fucked up and talked to somebody and said something she shouldn't have. So they put her back on the fucking container. 
back to China with those fucking ones that died on the way over and then they make fertilizer out of all of them because they don't waste anything in China. It's a terrible thing, but it, uh, it is what it is. Everybody's worried about Mexicans and nobody gives a fuck about the Chinese. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, poor people food before we wrap it up for today. I think we got everything pretty much covered that annoyed the shit out of me this week. We're going to go to poor people food. And we were talking about that fucking shitty Chinese food and pork fried rice, you know. But if you know you've hit the fucking rock bottom, if you've ever walked, come home, walked in, seen a thing at Top Ramen, think, mmm, yum. I can't fucking wait to eat that. The reason why they don't put that shit in cardboard boxes was everybody would eat the cardboard box and take the fucking Top Ramen away because the fucking cardboard box tastes better. It's better for you. So you eat that. And the fucking uh, steakums. Yeah, that the mystery meat, you know. That's where all the fucking pound puppies go when they die. They don't just throw that shit away. They fucking cut that fucking dog meat out and make it into fucking steak them. So a little fucking seasoning on it. And that's why they tell you you gotta cook that shit till it's all the way through. Because you gotta cook the fucking rabies out of it. It's fucking terrible, man. If you're eating that shit, sit down and get your fucking life together. Ugh, disgusting. Well, shit, I think I fucking covered everything that I had to talk about today. Uh, I got the fucking PETA. Ugh, got the fucking PA. There'll be more to come on Pennsylvania. Believe me, I haven't even started to get into how much I hate that fucking state and every fucking person in it. All the fucking pill heads, the fucking shitty Amish, the fucking assholes from Philadelphia, and the fucking stupid fucking sports fans. Ugh, disgusting fucking people. No manners. Just fucking animals. Might as well be shitting in the fucking streets. Just like all you fucking horses do you got out there on the fucking road. Pennsylvania. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up. That's enough for tonight. Remember to uh, support the unofficial sponsor of the Larry Harris Podcast for episode two. It is Heineken Beer. Remember, good people drink good beer. And you want to be a good person, don't you? I'm sure you do. So, go to your local alcohol retailer red star Heineken three ingredients water barley hops that's it better than anything you put in your body for soda to energy drinks or any of that shit so uh, support the unofficial sponsor of Larry Harris podcast I am Larry Harris that is the podcast for this week oh well y'all have a good one good day <laughs>